Hello, welcome to Adam, the American Truly Open Models Project. This is a short overview. I'm Nathan Lambert, and we need to reinvigorate AI research in the US by building leading open models at home and not relying on Chinese models or models from abroad. Let's get into it. So historically, and especially in 2023 and 2024, soon after ChatGPT, America has been the clear leader in open models. These were the llama, model, llama models from Meta. The original llama was what was built on to make things like Alpaca and Vicuna, some of the first fine-tuned models for chat to imitate the original ChatGPT. And then Meta quickly doubled down with the likes of Llama 2 and Llama 3, which were some of the most ever used artifacts on Hugging Face. But today, with the lackluster, so to say, release of Llama 4, and the very consistent cadence of these Chinese companies such as Alibaba's Quen or DeepSeek or even new entrants like Moonshot AI, Tencent, Zippu AI, known as Zida AI, are beating the drum of having many leading model releases. And the releases from earlier this year, especially from Quen, are causing it to be the case that literally today, maybe as we record or yesterday or the next day, the cumulative downloading and adoption of American models on Hugging Face, despite an early lead, is falling behind these Chinese counterparts. This can be seen back in the days of um, the fall of 2023 when Mistral was launching new models with a um, torrent link on Twitter and all of these fun things where there was a competition between the US and the EU for who had the most adopted models, um, measured by whose models are being fine-tuned on Hugging Face and which of these fine-tunes are actually getting adoption. And that lead has slowly been dwindled and fought by, back by China through these Quen releases mostly. And the European market share on derivative models dropped first, kind of being um, reaching really low percentages of maybe 10 to 15 percent in the fall of 2024. And now the American share is down to about 20 percent as well, with Chinese models continuing to rise on Hugging Face. And this won't change unless we take action now, and it takes time for action to kick in. So all the more urgency to start soon on building our own open models. At the same time, these Chinese models are not only popular, but on all the raw benchmarks that the AI ecosystem with these closed models leading ChatGPT and Claude and Gemini and so on, the Chinese open models on these same benchmarks surpassed the American models last fall and have continued to build their lead. This lead is on community benchmarks such as LM Arena, which was known as Chatbot Arena, and then Artificial Analysis's Intelligence Composition Benchmark, which is a mixture of things like MMLU, math, coding, and other knowledge tasks. China has a, a clear commitment to releasing their best models openly, and in the last few months, this has been seen by the frontier of open model performance getting pushed out again and again. DeepSeek V3 and DeepSeek R1, the kind of huge seminal moments of open models early this year, were actually the sign of what is starting rather than a one-off um, so-called emergency by some Western companies. So what we've seen, especially in the recent months, in the month of July, there were five frontier models from multiple Chinese organizations that represent remarkable capabilities. This kind of spectrum of this full industry participation is really key because China is investing at this intersection between new companies and academia, and they're investing to be the foundation of this new layer of research and innovation, and they, want, they intend this to be the standard across the world. To be simply put, America has the money and it has the talent to be a leader in this. We don't need to be crushing the Chinese or anything ridiculous like this. It's like we just want to control our own fate in America, and we want to provide things that are matching with the American values that I believe in of freedom, equality, and independence. And we just want models that can express all of this, and we want to control our own fate while AI is such a dynamic and fast-evolving technology. That way we can stay grounded in science and release open models and everything so that Americans have the tools they need to succeed in research and development. If you want to know more about this project, we released a 3,000 page report and a lot more plots. You can go to adamproject.ai or you can find me, Nathan Lambert, online at any of these interconnects handles, which is my blog, or just reach out to the contact for this project. And we look forward to making this happen.